Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's talk football, but remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, I got crushed last week on a two-game Moneyline parlay. Crushed. The first game was great. Tampa Bay beat the Washington football team. As that was a win, we don't need to get into it, right? The problem is to win a money line parlay, you have to win both sides of the play. I shouldn't have been in the money line parlay. They're great when you're going to get a rate of return, let's say, better than the money you put in, right, in terms of your profit. I foolishly, on non-high margin bets, coupled two games, and that was a mistake. I should have stopped being a stingy uh, clown here, and I should have just outlaid the money for the two games. I would have been in a far better position than I am right now. So, last week, with the Cleveland Brown coach out, with Denzel Ward out, with the Steelers having rested Ben Roethlisberger the week before, and with the Steelers at home, I had money on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Got worked and got crushed by the Browns, right? First quarter, terrible. Ben, multiple turnovers in the game. Steelers slept walk through the first quarter, were down huge were operating out of a big ditch, did not make it all the way back. So that's my history coming into this week, this playoff season. Now this week, I only like one game, folks. One game. Let me just say, you know, the Rams are on the road in cold weather. Jared Goff is banged up, has a broken thumb, you have key players nursing injuries. At a minimum, they're less than 100%. Aaron Donald and Cooper Cup. Cold weather is expected in Green Bay. It's Packer weather. They're facing a guy who's about to win the NFL MVP. The Packers are on a roll. The Packers have actually done well, betting-wise in the matchup in recent years against the Rams. I like Green Bay on a money line. We're not going to play games with point spreads here, especially not with the spread in the game up around a touchdown. I just like the pack to win the game. And this week, I'm a little bit wiser. I'm just playing the game as a standalone. I'm not parlaying it with anything. Let's also talk about some games that, quite frankly, I'm not betting on for various reasons, right? First, you know, I personally believe that Tampa is a better team than the Saints, right? I want to be clear on that. I do believe in Tampa more than the Saints. The problem is Tampa's on the road. The problem is the Saints might have a psychological edge because they beat Tampa twice. Other problems are the fact that, you know, Michael Thomas was actually productive last week. Alvin Kamara has been productive. Drew Brees looks healthier than I thought he would. I'm staying away from that game. The Kansas City-Cleveland game, well, first, let me just say, the head coach is back, Denzel Ward is back. Right? Cleveland is loaded. No question about it. I saw the uh, Las Vegas Raiders run over Kansas City earlier in the year. And let's face it, too. Andy Reid has a problem managing the clock. He did in Philly. He does in Kansas City. So I get the feeling that with Cleveland's backfield, if they're able to run on the Kansas City Chiefs, and control the clock, and give Andy less time to work with, there could be problems. Let's face it, too. Kansas City is not the kind of team to just come in and steamroll you. 
They've sleptwalked through many games this year. Many of their games were decided by seven or less points. I don't like that, especially when there's a 10-point spread. Now, I'm not going to take Cleveland here because Cleveland's on the road. Quite frankly, I still feel the Steelers were the better team than Cleveland last week, right? Steelers played a poor game. But let's just say the spread's too much here when I'm dealing with a game where the underdog can control the clock and the favored team has a problem putting teams away that they're heavily favored over, right? Finally, I'm staying away from the Buffalo Bill, Baltimore Raven game, right? First, the Baltimore Raven defense scares me. Excellent defense. That's the kind of defense that might be able to take over a game. Now, let me backtrack a little bit. I feel the same way about the Ram defense, but the Rams are going up against Aaron Rodgers, right? In that Baltimore game, let's just say I'm not completely sold on either quarterback, right? I'm just not. With regard to Lamar Jackson, I'll just say that he was down last week. Right? They were down. I don't like when the team's way of getting back in the game is by having Lamar Jackson break off a 50-yard run. That seems too speculative for me. Right, That's not the kind of advantage that I can bank on. So I'm staying away from the Ravens at Buffalo. So of the four games this week, the only game I like is Green Bay on a money line. I'm not even touching the point spread. On a money line at home over the Rams. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.